therefore rho 2 is equals to rho 1 into 1 plus that is alpha into T2 minus T1 therefore this is the final resistivity formula rho 2 is equals to rho 1 into 1 plus alpha into T2 minus T1 at the initial temperature initial resistivity is rho 1 temperature is increased from T1 to T2 then resistivity is increased from rho 1 to rho 2 the final resistivity value rho 2 is equal to rho 1 into 1 plus alpha into T2 minus T1 right next one here in this what is the unit what is the unit what is the unit means what is the unit alpha is equal to what is the unit delta rho delta rho is equal to change in resistivity change in resistivity is also equal to resistivity ohm into meter by now there is a resistivity resistivity unit is also equal to ohm into meter and there is a temperature difference that is called kelvin ohm into meter ohm into meter gets cancelled that is k to the power of minus 1 that is what is the unit of temperature coefficient of resistivity per kelvin or in cj system per degree centigrade now here rho 2 minus rho 2 is equal to rho 1 into 1 plus alpha into t2 minus t1 suppose let T1 is equal to 0 degree centigrade, right? That is rho 1 is equal to rho 1 is equal to rho naught. Temperature is increased from T2. T2 is equal to what to say T degree centigrade. Now rho 2 is equal to what to say rho T. Therefore, on substituting the formula rho T, that means here the, the conductor, the conductor that whose temperature is increased from 0 to T degree centigrade then resistivity of the conductor changes from rho 0 to rho t this is called final resistivity this is called initial resistivity by substituting all the values in this equation rho 2 is equal to rho t is equal to rho 1 rho naught into 1 plus alpha into T2 that is T minus 0 therefore rho t is equal to rho naught into 1 plus alpha into t this is another equation this formula is used whenever the temperature of the conductor is increased from 0 to 3 degree centigrade right now let us consider now let us consider temperature is increased from 0 to T1 degree centigrade then resistivity is increased from rho naught to rho 1 therefore rho t is nothing but what to say at T1 degree centigrade rho 1 therefore rho 1 is equals to rho naught into 1 plus alpha into T1 this is called let us consider first equation let again let temperature is increased from 0 to 0 degree centigrade to T2 degree centigrade therefore now resistivity is increased from rho naught to that is rho 2 therefore rho 2 is equal to rho 2 is equal to rho naught into 1 plus alpha into t2 therefore this is called what to say second equation right from the first right from the first from the first equation what we are getting that is rho naught is equal to rho naught is equal to rho 1 by 1 plus alpha into t1 right from the second from the second from the second that is rho naught is equal to rho 2 by 1 plus alpha into t2 here rho 1 is equal to rho naught into 1 plus alpha into t1 rho naught is equal to rho 1 by 1 plus alpha into t1 right here is also rho 2 is equal to rho naught into 1 plus alpha into t2 rho naught is equal to rho 2 by 1 plus alpha into t2 therefore lhs rho naught LHS rho naught RHS must be equal therefore rho 1 by 1 plus alpha into T1 is equals to rho 2 by 1 plus alpha into what do you say T2 on cross multiplication rho 1 into 1 plus alpha into T2 is equals to rho 2 into 1 plus alpha into T1 therefore on multiplication rho 1 plus rho 1 into alpha into T2 is equals to rho 2 
place rho 2 into alpha into T1. Therefore, rho 1 minus rho 2 is equals to rho 2 alpha into T1 minus rho 1 alpha into T2. Therefore, rho 1 minus rho 2 is equals to alpha is getting common rho 2 into T1 minus rho 1 into T2. Therefore, alpha is equals to rho 1 minus rho 2 by rho 2 into T1 minus rho 1 into T2. On simplification, alpha is equals to rho 2 minus rho 1 by rho 1 into T2 minus rho 2 into T1. Therefore, this is the temperature coefficient of resistivity. Now, next for copper, for copper. Now, this is x axis, this is y axis. On the x axis, temperature is taken, on the y axis, resistivity is taken. As the temperature is changed, resistivity is changed like this. Right? Suppose for nichrome, suppose from nichrome, for nichrome, the graph is that is resistivity and the temperature. The graph for nichrome, resistivity is directly proportional to like this, resistivity. Now, for semiconductor, right, for semiconductor, for semiconductor, the graph is, that is rho and the T, the semiconductor graph is like this. Now, here, copper has a particular resistivity, nichrome has a particular resistivity and a semiconductor, let us consider silicon and germanium, why it has a particular resistivity. Resistivity of any conductor depends upon the temperature. Right, the temperature different dependency, the temperature dependency on the resistivity can be explained through temperature coefficient of resistivity. The temperature coefficient of resistivity formula alpha is equal to rho 2 minus rho 1 by rho 1 into T2 minus T1. What is the next formula? Alpha is equal to rho 2 minus rho 1 by rho 1 T2 minus rho 2 into T1. Now, here sometimes temperature is increased, sometimes temperature is increased, resistivity is increased, sometimes temperature is increased, resistivity is decreased. Now, as the temperature is increased, resistivity is increased, temperature coefficient of resistivity is positive. As the temperature is increased, resistivity is decreased, temperature coefficient of resistivity is negative. For example, copper is a metal. For example, copper is a metal. As the temperature is increased, resistivity is increased according to the curve. Therefore, it has the positive alpha. For nichrome, nickel is the alloy which consists of nickel plus chromium. It is used in immersion water heater. The nichrome resistivity is greater than the resistivity of nickel as well as the resistivity of chromium. In this case, right, resistivity and the temperature is directly proportional to the temperature. That means almost all linearly changes with respect to the temperature. Again, the temperature is increased, resistivity is also increased, therefore this is called plus alpha. In the case of semiconductors, temperature is increased, resistivity is decreased. Semiconductor, the conductor which allow the passage of the conductor current at lower temperature, sorry, the semiconductor, right, the conductor which allow, the substance which allow the current partially is called semiconductor. The examples of semiconductors are silicon and germanium. For silicon and germanium which are known as your semiconductors, that is temperature is increased, resistivity is decreased, thereby it is called negative alpha.